side of season. Yeah. I think we might see a closer game here, but they're starting off on T side so far. Again, it is Guardian Z, Zeus, Senya, and Starix starting off for them on T side. And for VP, we got Snacks, Taz, Viali, Neil, and Pasha. Yes, and obviously the the important thing here is is Senia back in the lineup as Edward and couldn't make it here to the states unfortunately, and but now the game is live anyway, and this is nice. Pasha played this role as well on season where he was pushing up in the middle, getting some good information, and he's doing it again. If he pushes too far, Starix is probably going to be able to pick up this kill, but oh. Is he going to spot? No, he can't see the gun barrel right there. So this is going to be an easy kill for Starix. Pasha just waiting. This is so close. And this could set up the whole thing in motion. Pasha runs forward. Starix wakes up and gets the kill. <laughs> he was sleeping a little bit. Just having a timeout in that corner. But now the game is live. And they're going to rush towards this A-bomb site. Grenade on Neo. He goes down. And a great start here for the terrorist side. Yeah, they have smoked out towards the jungle. And they do get the bomb plant in the front of Fireboxes for Connector. Be all on a rotation. So at least with Starix pushing out there. Or should I say Pasha pushing out and see nothing going on. They know that they have to stack towards A. Now it's down to a 2 versus 1. And make that a 2 versus 0. As they finally get the retake for VP. And the defuse for the first round of this game. So, there is something very confusing that happened here. Pasha goes down right here. They get another kill on Neo by the jungle. Then, they're in a 5 on 3. They even get in and put the bomb down. And w then they decide, we should just keep pushing. Let's just keep going aggressive. If I think if they had held their positions, especially because there was smoke up, they could have just waited for VTPP to push for the smoke. I think that was Na'Vi just vastly overestimating how much those first two kills meant. It meant they had a great position to get the bomb down and hold it, but not just to keep pushing. And obviously, the fact that nobody really paid attention to Bayali coming up through the CT spawn, he just got, basically just walked in and got a couple of kills. Not really perfect. Taz yeah. with three, Bayali with two. I think that's the that's the issue of getting the bomb plant at the firebox, is you're trying to cover your, your teammate from the connector, from the jungle, instead of more towards the CT spawn. And then as soon as it's planted, you're trying to spread out, but you're closer to those areas. So you're going to try to push through, win those battles, and then set up after, knowing that there's going to be a guy rotating back towards the CT spawn. But uh, then again, it just came down to the great retake by uh, VP. And we're going to see the second round coming in. At least they get a bomb plan coming in for Na'Vi on the first one. And they'll have enough money to buy on the third. And look at this strange round. Neo with an MP7, Snags with a shotgun. They're just, just buying whatever they can get their hands on here. And... Well, the, the MP7 worked earlier. Why not do it again? <laughs> Pasha creeping up towards middle, still gets that information in the kill. Neo dropping out, and like you said, it works. He gets a double kill, and that's it. Simultaneously, Zeus and Starix fall down again, uh, and it's going to be a flawless victory there as they were trying to push inside A right after. Yep, Neo with some good money from those MP7 kills, so that definitely matters as well, makes a difference. He's going to hold on to it in spite of the... I why? No, this doesn't make sense. They must know Na'Vi are going to be buying because of the first round bomb plant. And in spite of that, they still hold on to one shotgun and one MP7. N I'm not sure this is smart. Well, Neo has uh, definitely shown that he's able to battle against rifles with that MP7 as we've seen on season. Uh, we'll see what type of play he's doing uh, towards this A bomb site. Playing closer connector. Having the shotgun and snacks playing close at on the upper yeah. B as well. So he's going to be spawning first though and uh, wait for the rotation. The shotgun on Snacks makes more sense because he can just jump and get the kill. Oh, grenade in the face of Starix. I think that might have... HP grenade. I think that might have been a bugged grenade because he has armor, but sometimes if it's just at a particular angle, you can actually somehow do damage through the armor. It's very annoying. Either that or Starix was much lower than I thought to begin with. Maybe I missed that, but that looked like it was a, a bit of a bug. So now let's see here. Pasha missing that flash as he was trying to go out the window off that bank and maybe peek out after. So it's still going to remain calm just for a bit. And we're seeing possibly a, a split going on for Na'Vi. Zeus battling against Taz wins this one. We have coming in inside A. Meanwhile, Taz inside the A side was picked off by Zeus. So Snacks will have to rotate with the Nova. This is going to be tough. Pasha with the FAMAS. Bomb now planted. Snacks with the USB back to the Nova, but headshotted through the wall by Senya, leaving Pasha the last man sitting at this point in an attempt to save his gun against five members of Na'Vi. Yeah, this is going to be a flawless round, it looks like, for uh, for Na'Vi. Very good bounce back. As soon as they pick up the rifles, they're off to, uh, to quite a good start. Now they need to keep the pressure on Virtus Pro. I'm wondering what kind of money they have. So they, they probably will be able to buy up anyway here. Not going to be ecoing just yet. But, well, Pasha, if he can save it from us, it's still better than nothing. That's right. So that clock is going off. He spots Guardian, headshots him. 
And now they're hunting him down. Another one is closing it in towards the ladder room. It's going to be sending a kill to him as well. Picks up the AK, but Zeus then catches him off guard. But the score still comes in the end. 2-1 to one in favor of VP. Yeah, and they, they take the rifle away. But Neo is going to be picking up an AWP with no body armor. And this is not a huge risk on this map. It's not entirely easy landing an HG grenade in here before somebody can just run away. But uh, still, you got to be careful. you got to be careful. Because if he falls back towards Connector, that can definitely be grenaded a lot more. AWP in the hands of Neo and not Pasha this time. Pasha still playing that aggressive, so I like how they want to control that middle. They have three guys in the middle there. If Pasha gets picked off, they have two guys to support them and set up for trades. And as Pasha moves up, that's why you see them rotate back from the window and make their way back towards A, playing the jungle, playing the connector to support Taz right after. But lots of flashes happening right now. Navi is trying to move inside A. Yeah, Neo missing a grenade then, but he got the first kill anyway with the AWP. Now Zeus takes down one. Neo tries to get the flick, but oh, he's got to get a little bit more. He's got the double already. He's looking for storage. He gets the triple. Incredible hold from Neo. The bomb is dropped on the slope, and Pasha just spotted it, walking all the way up from behind. But Neo with an AWP, that's got to be a throwback from some of the 1.6 fans out there. Just have been a couple of years since we've seen that happening. And now Pasha just slowly, coolly controlling the bomb here. Sue's going to walk in. He does actually take him down. And we're back into a 2-on-2. Two -two. Neo, maybe they need to call on him again to do a little bit more. I like the teamwork, though. We have Senya perched up inside the kitchen saying, okay, I have B. I know it's clear. So he's calling right now. That's why you have Zeus booking with the grenade, uh, in, or should I say a knife in hand, running back towards B. But now with 20 seconds left, he's still walking. He has to commit. He has no choice right now to make it towards B. But Snacks made his way towards underpass. It might catch him here. 16 seconds left on the clock. Catches him off guard. And, and now we have 10 remaining. This is pretty much yeah. going to be it. That's it. So... The, I mean, this is just unfortunate timing. Smart play from Snacks walking up through underpass, but the slight hesitation that Zeus made over here, that actually ended up costing him the round, and there's no way he could have known that. But uh, we saw it happening right there. Oh, now, yeah. another round for Virtus Pro. Snacks smart at the end, but Neo's triple kill obviously set them off flying at the beginning. 3 1 is what we're looking at, and Navi, they can buy, and they even buy an AWP this time. It's Guardian without the body armor, though. And that, that's a lot more risky if he's going to run middle. It's much easier to grenade right here than it is to grenade into the window room, so he's got to be really careful. Actually, there's only two grenades, and one of them is going to middle, but I think he's going to throw the grenade right away. He's going to take a quick peek, spots Guardian, and then falls back. Yeah, and this time there wasn't a three-man stack going on there, because we do have more of a passive play going in for VP. They do only have Famases, as they're going to play more aggressively towards the eight ramps and try to creep up and get information that way. But uh, Na'Vi still splitting up now with three men, making it up towards Catwalk and Middle Connector, while the last two are inside the B halls. And they're going to smoke it to try to clear it on the, on the cat. Yeah, have they smoked off towards the eight bomb and connection? No, they haven't. So if Taz walks out at the right time, he can get some great shots off. they got to be careful. I'd really want them to throw another smoke here just to prevent Taz, because that means all they have to deal with is Snacks and Neo. They're already pretty close to the B-bomb side, and Snacks is in an interesting position, just hiding, being able to look up. He gets the first kill. Bomb down. Senny has gone. Guardian takes down Neo, and a lot is riding on Snacks right now. He's trying to fall back. But he will go down, running in alone. Again, one at a time here. But it's Pasha coming into the bomb site, and now he's got to be careful. He gets the one kill. He needs to stay alive and wait for backup. Otherwise, this is not working out, and he's, go he's going down. I think this they're being too aggressive right now, Virtus Pro. Yeah, you mentioned it. Just peeking one by one. Instead of waiting for the team to rotate, Viali, though, finally gets one onto Starix. Bomb gets spotted on his two versus two. They take down C's in the back of Jail. Guardian, though, with the off shot and gets the quick second one onto the catwalk against Viali to save that for not as been seer and makes the score three to two. <laughs> no body armor, but some pretty good aim coming out. And he looked like he was walking and shooting at the same time, which is. Uh, I don't know. That's one of the big differences, I think, of playing LAN as opposed to online is some of these rifles, they work. I mean, obviously, it's the same game, but it works a little bit different. It feels like the game's a little bit more responsive, and you can get some of those crazy shots in. So now 3-2, and actually, Virtus Pro on an eco here, stacking up towards the A bomb site. and Navi, I think they heard them running, so instantly they make the call. Hold up. We heard a lot of people here. They kill one over by B. I think they know exactly what's happening. Now, Zeus can just not give up this AK, which apparently he, he can't, will. so... <laughs> But Starks is there to help him out. They go head to head. Him against Taz. Taz still going left and right in this pillar, playing the mind game. And he's also getting support, though, from Neo pushing up. And Bialy is watching the flank. So at this point, they might be able to pick up two guns here. Starks is going to look back towards the T spawn. Spots Bialy now. And there you go. The headshot. So they pick up an AK and a Galil out of that. At least 
we do get a bomb plant on the other side for Navi and an open B bomb side for them to set up on the defensive side. Oh, if they give up this round because of those two, that would be... No, they're not even going to try for it. They're just going to wait. I was going to say they're pretty far away, but those were two rifles. I mean, the first one, they pretty... That was unfortunate. That was just basically Zeus getting caught off guard. But mm -hmm. after that, I'm wondering if they had to give up the Galil as well. I don't think they expected somebody to push down towards that A ramp either. So uh, they, w they wanted to do the best right now for Virtus Pro to be able to pick up an AK after uh, Zeus fell down. Bomb is going to go off. Neo just trying to look for exit kills. Sees gets one onto Snacks. But still manages to stay alive from the bomb radius with one HP. Uh, still the round coming in, and we're tied up now. Three to three. Yep, and this is a pretty good start for Navi. I mean, they've managed to take three rounds already. This is a CT sided map, not by a lot, but by a little bit. So if they can just get up to, you know, seven rounds here on the terrorist side, they're going to be just fine. And they're sort of halfway there almost. And Virtus Pro actually only have these two rifles. So even though they were just ecoing, they're going to have to double eco here to try and get some money back. I don't know if Guardian saw somebody jump inside the underpass because Taz is making his way up with that AK. One guy perked up, two guys lined up. It's going to be Starx and Zeus. He's looking. They're hunting him down. He gets the first kill, lining up the second one. Puts him down to 46 HP before he <laughs> falls. But Snacks with the push at upper. That was sick with the CZ. He picks up an AK. Lots of nades happening, though, as uh, all of Na'Vi were still inside the B Hall. So great support and great crossfire uh, from both sides. And we have calmed down a bit. With the three versus two now, op shot from Guardian taking down Bialy. I appreciate the cinematic quality of what Snacks just did, just jumping <laughs> down. That was a, a bit of an action movie moment right there. Neo takes down one, then Molotov's up behind him, and he's trapped in, but Guardian takes the kill and sees with the other one. I mean, these rounds are close. Even if Virtus Pro only have a few rifles and some pistols, they still make it work, and they're playing incredibly aggressively. So, yeah, they're doing great. I mean, Navi is winning rounds, but they're losing a lot of money all the time. And Virtus Pro, they just have to win a couple of rounds here, and they're going to be forcing an eco. So, it's still a very close game. Yep. Neo was still trying to figure out if he wants to buy an op, and indeed he will. So, he's going to be the designated op right now for Virtus Pro playing that window. Pasha's oh. still going to try to drop down uh, at the window side. Guardian, I thought he was going to try and go. Well, he did go for a really quick mm -hmm. peek, and actually, Taz is alone in the beginning. But there's no way for Navi to know this. If they figured out eventually that, that Virtus Pro have been doing this sort of setup with three people in the middle a lot early on, they could actually go straight for a push because obviously Taz defending alone is not going to be the ideal scenario. But the more time passes, the more likely it is that one of these players is going to rotate back in and it's going to be Neo with the AWP. Last time he got a triple kill here. Yeah, because uh, Ashley Pasha didn't decide to push all the way up towards middle, so that's why they held it a little bit longer than usual. But uh, that's why Taz also smokes towards the A connector to prevent these guys from always pushing up. Smoke, look at this. Neo knows where the smoke's going to land, but it doesn't matter. Taz goes down, and he's alone inside the smoke perimeter. It's going to take down one. The bomb is dropped. There's one guy close. Neo gets the leg shot on Man. Seize, but can't take him down. It's still a three on three. The bomb is not down yet, and Bialy is already here. Virtus Pro really quick with the rotation at the moment. They they might be able to bring this back. Bialy with the one kill. Guardian and Starix now left. Now Guardian's going to try to move up with that AWP, trying to get this off shot. Saw sees the leg, takes him down, but meanwhile his teammate has fallen inside CT spawn as well. Guardian at least has the bomb on his back. 26 seconds left on the clock. Still a bit of time here. But these two guys are perked up inside CT spawn. Snacks waiting for him, having the better reaction time. Picks him off and finally uh, picks up the AWP for Neo for the round after. But we're tied up again. 4-4 four to four, and it's going back and forth. The same kind of scenario as seen yesterday um, when yeah. you play Complexity. Speed about Navi. So Navi did a really standard push that I think everyone who's been watching, at least when I've been casting on my own channel back home, is it, everyone knows this, right? You smoke off here, you smoke off here. The great thing is Taz went down and Neo, he was right on the edge of the smoke and he decided, I'm going to walk in to try and hold the bomb sign. And he did for a little bit. He got the leg shot off and he also got the kill on the first guy and that bought enough time for the rest of Virtus Pro to rotate on in and... They never got the bomb down. That's the really crazy thing. Even though they got that early kill, they still weren't able to plant. So that was a actually a very cool round by Virtus Pro. And the rotation time, I think, is what's that's what's working really well for them at the moment. So Taz holding EA with support from Bialy all the way from the CT spawn. We're moving up the connector now. Nobody there to support them as Pasha decide not to push up this time. He's gonna play back towards the jungle, but. Navi is still holding back on the left side. We do have an aggressive push going in and a nade coming on on the feet of uh, Zeus, courtesy of Neo, who falls back inside B right after that. And Pasha now peeking out towards the window, catches one off guard, and we are now coming in inside B. Snacks dropping Seized, but Seized did get her trade before he get picked off. He got picked off, sorry, but we're tied on a 2-2 now, Anders. 
Yeah, man, it's gonna be on Guardian here. It's a one on two, see if he, can. he spots the barrel there, but smoke goes off. Now he has to wait 35 seconds and he's still not got a bomb plan. He just hasn't even got the bomb picked up at the moment. And they're just buying time here. Virtus Pro going to try and play this as smartly as they can. And Guardian has no idea where to look. This is almost impossible. Guardian going to walk in and Pasha will take him down. Triple kill now. And we're at 5-4. And I'm not... Can we get a little bit of a listen in, I think, maybe, on what's happening? Nothing is going on at all. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Obviously, we can't... We don't speak Polish, but... It could still be fun up here. We have we some Polish people. We don't speak deaf either. We don't speak <laughs> deaf either. Some sign language, maybe, if we're a little bit lucky. No, but if there, there are probably some Polish people out there watching, and either way, we can still get an idea of what the spirits are like. I mean, Virtus Pro should be feeling good. They already won the first map, and they are looking really strong here. It's an eco run for Navi, and they probably know it as well. Neo in position with the AWP gets the first pickup on Zeus. Now they're raining down into the bomb site, but Neo with the second shot as well is going to pick one off. Now he has the pistol, and it's actually going to be Snacks to finish off with a triple in that round. It's a two round lead for VP. 6 4 here. Yeah, I like Neo's position there with the AWP. If he cannot, if he, if there was no rushes towards the upper B, he could actually rotate back and opt towards the connector into A as well to support all angles. And then having having snacks again, just playing by that van, always spotting with that M4. Mm. If he sees them coming, the initial flashes that happened from uh, Navi as well that was thrown over from the B halls inside B definitely gave him the call to play a little bit more passively and just let Neo get the shots off one by one from the catwalk. This time it's actually Taz's turn to walk up closer. They're switching out who's going to be walking close to middle. Yeah, probably depending on spawns. Yeah, that's, that does make sense, and we'll see. There's someone waiting on the other side. That's Senia. So if they push up too far, he might be able to get a quick pick off here. And then the underpass sees is having a little bit of a game going on with Pasha, but they decide it's time to fall back. Neo is going to go up inside the ladder room. Sees, meanwhile, makes his way down the connector. So a little bit of... Uh Timing police, as I like to call it, as he's, uh, we had Neo falling back, and now we have them trying to commit towards this connector, try to split inside A, but we still have a three-man stack from uh, VP inside A. Here comes our lineup, the trade, but the one-minute advantage still comes for Navi. Pasha evens it up, trying to get the second kill here inside through the jungle as Senya runs through the smoke and takes him down. So we have a three on two now. Look how low Senya and Starix are. This is definitely not over yet. The bomb is not down again. Now we have such a hard time even putting down the bomb. That's a nice model. So Neo runs through. What a sick choice. And the kill from Snag. Zeus is alone here. Neo, he might have just done it with that push. Zeus is going to go wow. down. And it's Snag with a double kill. That is... Oh, that's a very risky decision right there, but it worked out just fine. Seven to four, and Navi. This is what's really weird: is Navi they get into the bomb site, they get control of the bomb site, but they haven't put the bomb down in a very long time. I, and I wanted to mention that from the map before, just the amount of confidence that Neo has. I mean, that's the second time he runs through Molly's to get a pick, because he did the same thing uh, inside the B pit of, of Season, the map before, and he just wants to catch him off guard when he puts the Molly's down. Now he gets the opening kill onto Guardian as Navi's on a save, and uh, two of them are going to try to run across inside B, uh, but the bomb is so far back to try to meet up with him, so he's even going to be the last man standing down, Starix with the bomb and CZ in hand. Watching you open this level is just a, it's a real pleasure. Feel like we're being treated something special here. It's not gonna be eight to four. Starix goes down to Snacks, who's the other top right actually is the top fragger right now by one uh, upper on Neo here. But eight four is looking good. Now Navi, they're still well in this game. It, this is not a disaster yet. This is a CT sided map, so I still I said seven rounds, but I think Navi are gonna be fine with having six, and that's still doable here. Still doable. So that's going to be the objective for now. Waiting to see what Zeus is going to go for. It's going to be the AK coming in. Guardian with an ADVP. And he does have a mid spawn. Tried to go for a pre fired shot onto Neo, but misses towards that window. And Neo is going to win it after when they see them across face to face. He saw the AK getting dropped as well, so he knows somebody else is going to pick it up to try to probably battle him. It's going to be Senya. Senya again gets opted down by Neo. Now we're pushing down. He hears the footstep towards. Uh, towards underpass as well. Yeah, Pasha gonna be walking up the top of mid right into Seas, and he will take him down and the bomb drops as well. Neo jumping down in underpass Man. to take down Seuss. Hyper aggression coming out here from Virtus Pro. They feel the victory is near. And Taz is gonna be taking the last kill, but once again, it's Neo with the triple. It's it Snags and Neo just fighting for the top spot right now, and it's <laughs> really incredible to watch. Virtus Pro, they are on fire right now. 9-4, and 
Na'Vi, I mean, even when they get into a bomb site, they haven't won the rounds. But this time, they don't even get anywhere close to a bomb site. Yeah. This is starting to get a little bit worrying. Relaying on Guardian to get that opening pick. I mean, you have to drop one of your top fraggers on the other side, which is Neo. He couldn't get it. And then another unfortunate thing was when Pasha pushed up towards that middle, Seize actually flashed himself. So it was just an easy pick by Pasha, who's doing the same thing again, trying to catch him. And again, <laughs> Senya turned around after that flash, and Guardian runs out with his knife, thinking that he was still far back. So miscommunication going on there for Na'Vi, as uh, they are getting uh, pretty much rolled through this round. I think I think that was Senya just offering himself as a tribute right there, just walking <laughs> in saying, take me, take me, I'm ready. With open arms. Exactly. Oh, Neo with another kill, he's trying with the pistol, actually going to throw down a bit of a Molotov. Is he going to go? He will go for the peak, almost shoots his own teammate, and Bailey is there to just cool the situation down. Now, Seized is actually someone, well, he's top fragging on this Na'Vi team, but he needs to do a lot, and he has the skills to do it. He's waiting for Neo smartly right here, and it's going to be a good timing now. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, and this could be everything. If Na'Vi can pick up this round and the next one, we still have a really uh, interesting game on our hands here. Bayali, he's thinking, because of the time maybe, there's still 35 seconds, he might have walked all the way around or come up the underpass here, but Seized has gone to the B bomb site. Seized trying to creep up right now. Bayali's still holding towards that connector, knowing that the kill first was at the underpass, thinking to see if he's going to try to creep back towards middle. But this is good for him to try to spot it right now and just play it calm at middle first. When the bomb is going to get planted, it's going to be faster for him to rotate, but he still has no... doesn't really know where if it's going to be A or B, but now finally hears it towards B, and he's yeah. going to book it now. I see he's hiding here behind the truck, so once he gets found, actually, he's got to be careful this doesn't get smoked off. There's a one flashbang, he still has a smoke, but he's going to jump around the corner, and Seast will pick up the double kill and win the round for Na'Vi. That might have been a prolonged one-on-one, -on -one, but from Na'Vi's point of view, you bet you that was a really intense situation for them right there. They oh, yeah. had to win it. 9-5, and now Virtus Pro, they buy the heavy artillery. Auto Sniper on Pasha, and another one on Snags, and an AWP Man. on Neo. They are ready to make sure this finishes 10-5. Well, what Snags with the Auto Sniper? Oh, they knife each other for fun, too. Why not? But Snags with the Auto Sniper is going to be able to watch B. Really easily there from uh, the back truck into the B halls. Pasha auto sniping from the window, so that means where where Neo is going to off probably towards catwalk again. So lots of rifling support or sniping support towards this B side. So uh, I think we're going to have to try to try to take them down. I mean, set up those trades and then just rush through. I don't think they'll have enough time to react here to get those kills. Oh, well, you are talking yeah. about the best in the world, so maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. Uh, oh, sees with a great pick off. That's all the way over. That's all the ramp here. He took down uh, Pasha, and that's the auto sniper. So one is gone already. Neo is forced back by a couple of smokes. Now we're doing good work early on, but they need a lot more. If they can get close to Neo, and right now they are close. They're into the uh, into the ladder room right here. So, so Zeus killing Taz towards the connector, but Neo moving up towards the catwalk catches C uh, Senya. Sorry, inside of the ladder room. With his back turned again, spots the top of the head here of Zeus is going to molly to force him back, but Snacks is holding B. He's dropping down from outside, but we have dropped the bomb carrier, so again, they are all split up, and they have oh. to book it very quickly here with 30 seconds left on the clock. The time is really going to kill Na'Vi here. They have, they've got to rush in. There's a smoke off. They even have a Molotov. This is so great for Virtus Pro. Grenade through now, Molotov to follow on the other side. Zeus has to sort of move forward to not get burned alive. 15 seconds. They gotta move right now. They don't have time to play this game at all. But Virtus Pro have plenty of time to do this. It's all working for them. There's one down and Seized has just lost the round. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Try and wall bang and just pray that it's gonna be working out. But 10 5 is what we're looking at for the first half. And yep, as the clock runs out. Oh, oh, please. <laughs> it's almost, it would almost be mocking Seized if you had got that kill after the time run out. That would have been so painful. 10 5 for the first half. That timing was just <laughs> so close. But this isn't over yet. 10-5 is pretty good for Virtus Pro, but it doesn't mean Na'Vi are out of this yet. At Definitely the end of the not. day, though, we, we've seen the way VP has played this against high by power and they lost. They got pushed down to the lower brackets, but they are definitely not the same as they were yesterday. They're definitely uh, on top of their game, and uh, they're, they're throwing Na'Vi around right now, in my opinion, when it comes to yeah. the way they're, they're playing the defensive side. It's just amazing to see. And that, if anybody really wants, if you're, if you're a team out there and you're wondering, how are they doing so well? I think it'd be worth going back and watching this game and just realizing how quickly Virtus Pro are rotating, how much they know really early in the round, and how fast they can make the call to go A or B. It's been 
It's been kind of amazing. Yeah. All right, guys. It's the second half of the second map here between Navi and Virtus Pro. If you're just joining us, then welcome to the stream and thanks for tuning in. I know you guys were up really late yesterday watching. No matter where you were in the world, it was getting really late because it was a long day yesterday. We had people from all over the world, of course, Definitely. Europe but, and Australia. And I, I promised to do this because a couple of people messaged me on Reddit to give a shout out to the Indian glo uh, global offensive community because there are a lot of people in India playing Counter Strike. So shout out to you guys tuning in as well. And I know there's a South African team is seen as well. So yeah. It's slowly spreading global offensive. Maybe it will be global one day. Yeah. We'll see what happens with the ESWC qualifiers as well. Th throwing in a lot of... Uh, oh, Japan. Yeah, qualifiers from Japan, from India. Um, so, we'll see. But nonetheless, the pistol round is on the way here. Virtus Pro pushing up towards the A-bomb site. It's going to be five people moving in. Guardian getting the opening kill from the jungle in the face of Pasha. Duelies by Senya as they drop the bomb carrier as well. He spots next. But Stars is going to be able to take that kill. Taz now at uh, the Tetris box is down to... Actually, he's at 100 HP. It's at Neo that was down to 21. But gets picked up by Zeus there. So Taz under heavy fire. And Guardian picks him off. And a much-needed pistol round comes in the favor of Na'Vi. Yeah, double for Zeus, double for Guardian. And a big shout-out over from the, from the Na'Vi playing area. You could hear them shouting there. Yep. They, and this is important. They need to get fired up, get ready, and really feel that it's happening. Senia did not get a kill with the duelies, which makes me sad. I wanted to see the Ukrainian cowboy in action. <laughs> it, it fits so well. We're in Texas. Of course you're going to buy the duel elites. <laughs> so now, a save round coming in for uh, Veritas Pro, who are actually going for a pistol buy, actually. Full armor with uh, P250s and CZs, small armors, and they're actually battling towards the window, trying to get this person down, which is going to be Zeus. But Zeus still holding his grounds towards the window. We've already pushed up close to uh, the <laughs> connector as well. It's going to be Snacks. Yeah, trying to look through the smoke with that weird angle. Now he's flashing his way through. Perfect timing. Oh Snacks takes down one. He runs out of bullet, but that was so close to being a great double. Seize is going to go down, and this is working out way too well for Virtus Pro. They're in a two on three, and Zeus and Starrix are out of position to prevent this bomb plant. Bayali is going to go down, but it's still a two on two. Yeah, I like what happened right there uh, so far for this save. I mean, they got three kills. They have a bomb oh. plant. I like how they baited as well. Look at Pasha. Walking up from behind, he can finish the round right here. Starix pushes in, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Taz with the P90, but just the just the, the level of awareness on Virtus Pro's side here. To be doing that backstab is critical. Now, 11-6. This is, your, I mean, you said it earlier, this looks like Virtus Pro just throwing Na'Vi around, and I think that's that's what's happening at the moment. Even after winning the pissed round, they can't hold on to it. Yeah, with Snacks close to that connector before, them pushing, should I say, the rest of his teammates pushing inside B, forcing to rotate on Na'Vi, catching them off guard. That's just a tremendous display of communication and teamwork there for, uh, for him to get almost a double kill with that CZ and make the round end up even faster for, uh, for Virtus Pro if he actually got that a little, maybe two more bullets in his clip. That would have been, yeah, you're right. That would have ended really quickly then. They have the one rifle here, and actually they're going to throw it over to Guardian after Senia picks up a kill on Taz, and Virtus Pro keep pushing towards this B bomb site, it feels like. And, well, they actually have some good defense over here. Already three people and one person. Star is coming up from behind. If he's a little bit quick on his feet here, they could actually swing this back in their favor. Guardian doing great damage, almost taking one one Sees with a kill up in the hallways, and they're going to keep pushing now, but... Oh, they're just leaving Neo and grenade to the face, not working out. So now we got our three on two. Bomb still in the back of Pasha. They still have an M4 though, so it can still be useful for them. Snacks with a CZ. They're coming back towards A and it's open. Nobody there. Oh, that was a long range shot. Senia all the way over from uh, from the catwalk, taking down the bomb. And well, Snacks now not exactly in a great position, but he will be able to take down Starix here. <laughs> two taps to take him down. 30 seconds left on the clock, and he's booking it back towards the B-bomb side. So, I don't know if he's trying to flank around or just try to save this Galil. He's running towards the connector, though. So, he might find Zeus very soon. And oh. fight it across here. From the way that he's running around, he's... Oh, my God. Another kill from behind. This just cannot happen. 10 seconds. Snax Snacks is running in here. Already got the double, and oh, Zeus over by Treacherous. He's going to pick up the bomb now. Snacks trying to put it down, and uh, there it is. Zeus gets the kill, but that was way too close anyway. That was a one-on-three for Snacks, and he turned it into a one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, didn't have time to check, but this is still scary. It shows you just how good Virtus are at the moment. Yes, definitely. So they, they're hurting the money situation of Na'Vi, even though Na'Vi got that round. And we're probably going to see some monsters across the board. For VP, it's going to be interesting. They did get a bomb plant before. They, they picked up M4s as well, so they didn't have to spend that much money on the second round.
but it uh, looks like they're just going to go for regular saves here and just go all out on the round after. Yeah, but that was still a great round from Navi. Obviously, they, they managed to save it, and they just need all the rounds they can get. They need to put Virtus Pro... Yeah, just put them down in the dirt, see if they can push this to a third map, which would be really interesting. Because that would be train if it happens. Guardian with two great pickoffs, but it is an anti-eco round, and right now we just expect him to do this without any issue. Guardian with a third kill, and that's good. The last two guys are up on the ramp. Taz finally gets one, gets a second one with a headshot onto Guardian. Tried to capitalize with a hat trick on the two Starrex inside A, but it's going to get stopped there. And uh, that's now going to be 11-8. to eight. So... There was a thread, I just saw this in the break, there's a thread on HLTV.org that where the title was just Taz with a lot of A's in it, and I gotta <laughs> think, the guy who, who made that thread probably is watching around like that, where Taz just makes it look so easy, and the weird thing is, I mean, just a couple of months ago, we had an interview uh, during the Friday Night Masters Cup where, where Taz was um, talking about you know himself and his team, and he said, I'm really the guy who's sort of the weak link, I'm the guy who needs to mm -hmm. step it up and play a lot better, and... Well, he's had a you know a couple of months since, and right now he's doing really well on this side, and he was playing well on the other map too. He yes. had some incredible clutches, so I, that could be another reason why this team is looking strong. Yeah, at the same time though, on Navi's side, it seems they're a little bit more comfortable um, playing the CT, getting a few rounds. Even though they lost a few guys, at the end of the day, they're still putting a few rounds in uh, on the CT side. Guardian with the AWP in hand. Trying to look back as he opt towards the connector first. Saw nothing there and was just trying to creep around to see if it was, anybody was going to come back up towards the E ramp. But it's still going to remain calm. Look at them. They're still waiting in, outside A right now for VP. But we do have an aggressive push by Zeus. So they're oh. going to have to get their grenade soon and commit towards A. A little bit oh, too aggressive. Mind. Yeah, Snacks was waiting in the middle. If he had kept walking, that would have been so beautiful. But now instead, they gave up the one kill. And look at Virtus Pro instantly making a rotation. They realize that because Zeus got so far up, they know it's going to be an A push, and now Guardian is going to take that one. They actually recommit to the A bomb site. Yeah. I wish they would have kept running back, because that would have been very interesting. Yeah, I don't understand uh, why that happened there. And Guardian drops the uh, bomb carrier as well. Neo trying to clear out the side with the Galil Pasha as well from Tetris. And then Seize takes down Snacks to make it a two versus one. So Na'Vi will have to try to win this. So even though they committed back inside A, it still overtook it. Seize gets the headshot after the bomb gets flooded. So now, it's a one versus one. Let's see. Neo is the top fragger. 22 kills, and he's been winning some insane rounds. Now he's just going to get one click in on Seized here, and it will be all over. Now we are going to be economically in a really bad shape, and Virtus probably one step closer to playing against Complexity in the lower bracket here again. The Diffuse goes in. He's going to go straight for it. He actually stops. going to peek out here. Neo, very low, and Seized will take him down, and there is just enough time for the Diffuse. That's right, it's going to be a nice 3k coming in, and it's going to be 11 to 9 in favor of uh, Virtus Pro still, but a nice display of calm for that one versus one. But again, it, they got the early pick with Snacks getting the kill. They still coming in inside A, but Navi knew that, that uh, they were going to set up for an A site. They stacked it, and they still lost it. So VP doing very good there with Taz opening the site on the top of the Tetris box. It's just picking off one by one. And then they just couldn't get it done. I mean, that was, in spite of Guardian hitting some really good shots, then they just could not hold on to the bomb side anyway. This is really scary. But the one thing that's really working for Navi is that Virtus Pro's economy is looking terrible. They've bought up here with three AKs, one Gilead, one C set 75. But you know, if the trend holds true here, they're just going to keep they're going to keep pushing anyway and do just fine. We'll see what's going to happen. Coming in now with the smokes, Navi having uh, the rotation coming in so soon. Four people. Crossfiring inside the A bomb site. You can see the smokes now for the CT spawn, but the bomb has yet to make his way out. Actually, he has. He gets picked up by Zeus with help from uh, Seize. They take down Taz. But Bialy retaliates back. Four on three now. Senia trying to go through the smoke. Gives away his position inside A, so they're looking at him. And Bialy gets the headshot onto Starix, who tried to rotate across with the crossfire. Now the smoke clears up and they get the kill. Drop the bomb carrier. Seize again from the jungle gets that frag. All right, let's try and see you do a listen in on Virtus Pro and how they feel after this round. All right, so apparently that's not quite working, or if they're not saying anything. Right? It's probably the former, but we'll see. <laughs> this is incredible. Seize has now taken the the his top fragging, 23 kills, two assists, and 12 deaths. The Russian player single-handedly has decided that we want to see a third map, and he might just be able to do it here. It's 10-11. It's very likely going to be 11-11. Virtus Pro, they've gone for an eco, 
And now we are suddenly looking a little bit stronger, but the, the scary thing is, I mean, Rancilli, what happens if Siege is the first to die in a round? That's what I'm really worried about now. <laughs> We'll see if if that case does happen. But so far, they're playing a very, a uh, pretty decent CT side right now for Navi. Zeus spawning one here as early in this round. Actually, Guardian dropped down towards that window. He thought he saw the bomb here, and the bomb here was actually there. But a simultaneous kill comes in with the crossfire at a and towards middle. Two of them has fallen down for Virtus Pro, so they have dropped the bomb carrier as well. So the bomb is down at the underpass. Pasha and Neo trying to creep up with Taz at the same time. The legends moving up. But he gets picked off there by Senya and stop. Pasha retaliates onto Senya. But here it comes. Three men just moving up here. <laughs> Guardian decides to just drop his gun because he missed his shot or he couldn't get a shot off at all. I think that was pure frustration from Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I haven't seen that in a while. That's a good illustration of how mad you can get when you don't hit shots. You Let me throw your gun in the game. That's awesome. Guardian has been hitting him. He's at 16 kills, but I still say he's a little bit lower than his usual level, and they can't afford that now. Virtus Pro, they're going to put an AWP on Snacks, and he's going to be running towards the B bomb side. And actually, if he's fast enough here, he might be able to catch Seize. We might see what happens if Seize is the first to die, but Snacks misses the shot. It's just going to be a grenade out, and okay, disaster is avoided, at least for a moment. If he had kept running and jumping up like he's doing right now, mm -hmm. oh, things could have been interesting. At least he smokes it up as well to uh, stop a VP in their footsteps, and you can see them jumping back towards the T-spawn. So it comes oh, down to how they're going to move with this after. They're actually moving into a stack at middle, but Snag still manages to get the opening frag with this uh, with an off shot towards that mid, so that's one guy less. But then Guardian retaliates back onto the catwalk. Peaks and sees Pasha and misses the shot. Moving up with Taz right now. They're trying to set up the trade at least against him with Snacks moving in from the underpass. Guardian's got to be careful not to overextend. He does fall back. Actually, he's going to roll all the way back to the kitchen. Senia's got to move here. He pushes out. Yeah, and Pasha nice takes volley. him down. Now a lot is riding on Starix here. He's alone. Guardian's just showing up. But Smoke might... Oh, mid-air shot as he jumps. Guardian misses the next one. And Seized is too far away. Is this, is, I mean, I don't think he should actually go for this retake. They don't have the money for it. And if he saves this rifle, he can throw it over to Senia. And then they can all buy. So definitely don't want Seized going for this one-on-three. But now he's made it one-on-two. And I guess it's all in. Go big or go home. Before the bomb gets planted, so there's still some time, and it's going to be a double peak. Can they line it up? No. Nice position there as they go side to side, and uh, Seize couldn't decide who he wanted to aim on. Decided to go for Bialy, but Bialy still managed to get the kill, and now Virtus Pro retakes the lead here with a 12-11 score. Yep, one round lead is not that much, and I guess what's really scary is that if they then lose this upcoming round, now they're, you know, their unlocked bonus has been reset and uh, they're going to use a lot of money in this round. But Senia only has the pistol, so I don't know. Navi's economy, on the other hand, is completely broken. Zero on everyone except Sue. So if they lose this upcoming round, that could be Brothers Pro just Ooh. coming dangerously close to winning the whole game. They tried to do what uh, VP was doing at the beginning of the half, but they only had one guy really supporting. Moving up gets caught. And uh, no op for the trade there from the window side. We're moving up towards the underpass as well because I think. As they smoked it up, he couldn't actually support them with the EWP. Now, Virtus Pro has full control of middle and also A. Yeah, now Guardian is the only one covering in. He's even getting back to that Pasha just running in. I think, yeah, they need to save what they have left here. Yep. There's no way they have two AWPs seized and Guardian with one each. But I think you actually, well, look at this. They're just only now picking up the bomb. So Virtus Pro really with a slow round after all. But I think you, you pointed out what really went wrong here. There's one guy pushing up, and the support from window just wasn't there. So they just got picked off one at a time. It's a really weird round from Na'Vi. Yeah, quite unfortunate there. And you saw it at the same time. Guardian that was inside the window just decided to book it back between a few players of Virtus Pro to just run back towards, his, uh, towards the B-bomb site. Now, he manages to save his op so far by oping Pasha, dropping through the window from the kitchen. But uh, they actually have both angles watched. But we are still on the hunt now for VP. Oh, the timing here from Guardian. He's got to move back really soon. Otherwise, he's going to miss this shot. He takes a peek again. Takes down by Ali. Goes for a second one. Misses it. And the AWP is down. So, well, now C still has one left. And these rifles, I mean, this is all that, that Navi are going to have for the next round. And one AWP is definitely enough sometimes. But if they don't hold on to it, it doesn't really matter in snacks. Or C, sorry, gets the kill still there on Neo. That was nice being sprayed at the same time. But he's going to stay alive here. Is he going to keep it for B or give it to a Guardian? He's the one with body armor. I'd want him to keep it.
because no body armor on Guardian means one bullet on him and his aim is all over the place. He does have a better window spawn, but he's going to opt to go towards B instead to just watch it. So the rest of the guys on a save, three-man stack, leaving middle open, actually. So it's going to be a two-man stack inside B. Star is playing so aggressively inside the palace with his teammates, able to uh, salvage an AK-47 out of that, but already a four-on-four -four situation. We are already inside the A bomb site right now for Virtus Pro. C's at the jungle trying to get some op shots in. Yeah, and in the middle, Senya gonna jump down, and right there is gonna be Pasha to take him down, no issue at all. And they need to save this AK and the AWP again. Don't think they can retake this. One's already down, and Seast is actually now caught in a terrible corner. Gonna take down one, has to move out. I don't. I think it's time to let go of this. It's not gonna be match or map point yet. It's 14 rounds for Virtus Pro when they win this. Um, okay, there's something else that we really want to point out. The push they did this round up into the apartments, like aggressively with just pistols, I wish they would do that with actual rifles. Just have two people push, or even just one. I think they've been playing a little bit too passively, and when they've been trying to go aggressively in the middle, as you pointed out, it's been just a single person, so commit a little bit more to the CT aggression, and maybe they can throw Virtus Pro off guard here. Well, a lot of the times you see Virtus Pro really want to take control of that middle as well, so if you want to bring the fight back to them, you have to change back the control at uh, at middle, maybe post more than two people, play play three like they kind of did for Virtus Pro. And you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to point anyone out, but you gotta wonder as well what would have happened if it was Edward playing instead of Senia. Mm -hmm. Not just the fact that they have the normal lineup, but also Senia maybe a little bit out of his depth here yeah. on Mirage. Nine in twenty right now, but we do have an opening kill, the first one, but traded back from Neo. Nice need from Guardian as well. The body just slumped down right <laughs> next to him. Gets the op kill. Draws the bomb carrier. Starx actually comes up towards the balcony here and is going to try to get this flank onto Starx. Puts him down at 12 HP and Senya puts him up at 7 by getting that frag at the sandwich from the site. Pasha giving away his position by shooting towards the jungle and Starx manages to get the kill with uh, two casualties coming in as well. Able to save uh, an AWP. No, he actually didn't pick up an AWP for Guardian. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Alright, so that's a, definitely a mistake there, but uh, I think, did they buy one, Andy? Yeah, they're, they're gonna buy one. They bought one, actually, should I say. Yep, so, alright, they but that's no grenades at all. They did do the aggressive push-up into apartments, so that was really good. It worked out, they, they managed to get apartments control, and that's really, really helpful. But, they're still not home yet. They need another four rounds to take the victory here. Virtus Pro, they could force it up. They had two people at 7,000 at the beginning of this round. But if they lose this round, Virtus Pro, it's Eco, and that'll probably tie the score, and then it's anybody's game. A lot rides on this one round. Seized. He doesn't spot by Ali, and he's going to go down. Oh, he could have seen him, but Guardian is there to pick it off. It's all on this round, Vensili. Yeah, 4-4 four and four now as they have decided to fall back, knowing that Guardian is now opping inside B. And they're going to try to go back towards Connector. We have controlled the middle. Make that Senya, though, holding it against Neo. Uh, Zeus oh. is going to move back up on the flank. Yeah, Zeus is important here. He's going to take down nice. Pasha. Now two on four. Very good movement from Avi. I love the aggression. It's such a nice switch up from what they were doing earlier. Yep. And it, the Otis Pro aren't ready for it. Not even Taz, even though he's looking, still not ready to deal with Zeus. Everyone is firing right now on Navi. Senia coming up with a kill as well. And it's all in here. So Snacks with that AK. Four versus one. Looking back, catching another one from behind. Senia, the amount of times that he's getting caught looking at the wrong area is quite unfortunate. Spots another one here coming inside towards the staircase. It's going to be a double man peak, and it's still going to be uh, Starx that manages to get the kill onto Snacks there. 14 to 13, one more to try to tie it up again now for Na'Vi. What is really scary is that even after this round, VP won't have a lot of money. They'll be able to buy just barely, but it's going to be... It's not going to be with an AWP, and it's going to be with, a, with very few grenades, I imagine. This is now a very interesting game. They're going to have in the area of... Well, some of them are going to have just a little bit of about 4,000, and I think, yeah. So it's going to be, you know, 3,800, 4,000, that area. Yeah, they have to actually not lose any weapons while well, moving into the last one for Na'Vi. A couple of grenades being lobbed, as it's going to be the safe, aggressive push for uh, Virtus Pro inside A. Jumping across here, but Guardian gets the off shot to support uh, Zeus. Now, just like that, Pasha is going to be the last man standing. Full save coming in for his side with the block only. Trying to go for the burst kill, but he's getting hunted down. Still manages to kill Zeus, but that's enough money there. 14 of 14. He get a little bit more, be able to buy a few more grenades with that one kill. Here we go. It's going to be 14-14. It's down now to the 29th round to decide who's going to be... Well, if it's Virtus Pro, it's match and map point. If it's Navi, it's just map point. 
And whoever wins, well actually, if VP win, we could see overtime because now we have money. If Navi win, there's no money left on Virtus Pro, and it's probably going to be going to train. And what a treat that would be, Vance. That's what we want at this point, isn't it? Oh, definitely. We want to see the most intense Counter Strike all the time. Oh. So, Guardian trying to peek out from the connector first was playing that middle by himself again. We have a two man stack inside, but he still manages to push it down towards the underpass and takes Snacks down first. So, this is a huge advantage for Navi to start things up. Uh, oh, and Senia so close, he's gonna spot Pasha, he makes the call already, Zeus is waiting for him, he goes down anyway, and now Senia's gotta come and help out quick. Pasha's looking the other way, he has no idea, one grenade on him, Senia with another grenade, and Pasha goes down. Great kill coming up, Seized is next to fall, but Senia's there getting a kill, Guardian is still alive, Neo low on health, this could be what Navi need, oh. Neo alone, he gets the one headshot. He needs two more to come in. He's going to try, but no. Guardian gets him. Triple kill for the Slovakian Auburn. It's going to be 15-14. And now we need one more round. This is a crazy game. Oh, yes, that's right. Great, great play there by Senia to spot it out. Played a little bit uh, towards the catwalk. Doesn't need to push all the way up towards that middle. Luckily for him, nobody was there in the back of the carriage at, at the top mid to try to pick him off. And he was able to support his teammates on a rotation, running through the smoke as well to catch a few off guard. Okay, so let's see. Guardian looking over here, and there's a lot of shouting going on over by Navi's area. They are, they're really fired up. They realize all they have to do is kill, well, two AKs, two Galils, and one CZ-75. <laughs> Almost no grenades, and then, then they'll be home safe. They can start focusing on train. So now Guardian, oh, just spotted one over here. Tried to go for a pre-fired shot. Pasha is battling against him with an AK-47. This is this is quite interesting. The confidence <laughs> right now for Pasha, but then decides to fall back just for a bit. You can see they're still uh, all spread out right now for VP side, trying to see if anybody's pushing aggressively, trying to catch him on the mistake. Zeus trying to peek towards the connector, and Pasha almost got that, uh, almost got that kill. Pasha just the lone ranger here, just going to be walking out into the middle. Last time he almost got caught by Senia. This time Senia's still close by, but this is looking like a B push at the moment. And if Pasha could just keep them occupied, this can work out really well for Virtus Pro. He's going for it, but Guardian takes him down. Now, if they realize, and they will realize, Seized is still here. He's got the... Yeah, the smoke's actually... If he can just shoot through, he's going to be all right. Molotov is up as well. Senia doing a good job. Takes nice. down Neo. It is happening. Bayali and Taz are left. Two on five, and they have to wait for that fire to get away. And as they're waiting, the rest of Navi show up to the bomb site. Taz is alone, and here we go. Train is going to be the next map up. Taz in a one-on-four. Wow. He goes down, and it's seized. And that's the 